with the twister moving closer. That's what met the community of Matador yesterday evening, leaving death and destruction in its wake. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Our northeastern counties are in recovery mode tonight after tornadoes touched down in Matador and Afton and severe weather hit Jayton also last night. As of right now, we have received word of four confirmed deaths and at least nine injuries. Governor Abbott updated the state's disaster declaration today to include Matador and other communities impacted by last night's storms. The Texas Division of Emergency Management was deployed to assist with recovery, including the State Emergency Medical Task Force, DPS, and more. The governor says additional counties may also be added to the declaration as damage assessments continue. Multiple agencies are also responding to Matador from across the South Plains. Right now, much of the community remains without power as cleanup and recovery efforts continue. We're bringing you team coverage from Matador tonight with the very latest information. KCBD News Channel 11's Joshua Ramirez joins us live now with a look at the damage we can see today. Joshua. Yeah, Karen Abner, I'll get to that damage here in just a second, but I want to start with an update that we got just a little while ago here in front of City Hall in, in uh, Matador. Um, we were told that the number of injuries in this storm has actually increased from 9 to 15. The number of fatalities still sits at 4, but we were just notified that there have been 6 more injuries added to that list. Now, as far as damage, I can tell you that on the way in to, Ma to, uh, excuse me, to Matador um, earlier this afternoon, the, the streets were lined with bulldozers and dump trucks all trying to clear away the debris that were once homes and businesses and <clears throat> as far as volunteers there have been some that I've spoken to that have come from as far as Dallas to help this community get back to what it was. We will gather up clean it up make our little town pretty again. The cleanup is underway after a deadly tornado claimed the lives of four people in Matador Wednesday night. You know we've been through one before but it's just a uh, I've had lots of people call me this morning and want to know if they could help. I said, I don't know what you're going to do. I mean, because I, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I, 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 I really don't. The roads into town lined with first responders working to clean up the wreckage as residents sift through piles of torn steel and splintered wood. Well, that's kind of our little salvage pile right there, but uh, 55 years of my dad would be 90-something years old now. I mean, he gathered this stuff up, and we did, too. My dad had a business here at one time. The lady that lived in this house behind us was in the house when the tornado hit, hit this house, and she survived and was here this morning. And so um, just a miracle that, that, that this lady survived. Uh, just, you know, what happened to our home. The city of Matador and part of Motley County still without power after a substation was destroyed. They really spent a lot of money over the last few years upgrading that substation. And I understand that that's, that's going to be it's going to be a while before they get that fixed. Uh, I heard a guy last night say that it could be a week. Commissioner Douglas Campbell says it's a long road to travel for the city of Matador, but he's thankful for those who have come to help. You know, I, I want to thank everybody that's uh, come and helped us. It's, it's just amazing how many people come last night, you know, and, and helped, and how many people's called today from different counties. And it's just overwhelming. It's just, it's, it's a great state of Texas showing their true colors. And we will have more on that effort to come out and help this community later on in the newscast. Patricia Perry will be bringing you that information. For right now, as for those four fatalities, the names of those people have not been released, but we will keep you updated on air and online as we learn more. Karen and Abner. Thank you, Joshua.